Hello, my name is Vinay Kumar and today I will talk about how to do an iteration in a tree. So I have created a simple application and I'll, I will show you the page. So here <coughs> I've sh there are the two tables, one is the country table and another one is the location table. And I'm selecting off any of the country here on the left hand side, we, the uh, location and that location table will refresh. If we select this Australia then we have this we select Brazil and so on Germany China Switzerland Canada and so on and uh, we don't have any view link between and it's not a, any master detail implementation I have just made a view criteria into the location table and I'm passing the value of the country ID into that view criteria and I'm going to refresh it. So let's show how I have implemented it. Okay, so I have created a page here. I will show you, I will close everything. Then I will list down everything, okay. So in the model, I have two entities, object one is country and another one is the log location. And there are the two view objects, one is based on the country and other based on the location. So if we go to the location, it's just a view object. Here I've created a view criteria, location view criteria, where country ID start with the country. So we are passing an country ID in, in this criteria. And in this application module, we have application module IMPL file, Java file. And here we have created an custom method in which we are getting up the object of this view object. And we are applying the view criteria. This is the name of the view criteria we have. And this is we are passing the value of the bind variable and we are executing the query that's all so now see how we have implemented in the view controller layer in the view controller layer this is the page I have created here on the design side I have shown I have created a panel splitter on the left hand side I am showing a country and on the left hand side I am showing the location so if you see Initially, it's a panel splitter. If I expand it, there are the two facets of it first and second. First is the country, and second is the location. In the first, what I've done, I've initially I have drag drop a panel box, and inside the panel box, I've created drag drop a panel collection, and then I've used AF3. The important thing which I should we should keep in mind here uh, if we select in the tree I have selected tree as of now and these are the properties of the tree and here I have written and I mean I have removed the default selection listener here and I have I have wrote a my own selection listener in a pin let's look at the pin now this is the pin here normal and this is the selection listener method we have and here we are invoking the in default selection listener here we are invoking that and after that we are getting the object of selection event and then we are getting the value from the tree model and once we have the tree model value we are getting the row key set and then the iterator and then looping up the traitor we are getting values i mean in this way we can get the tree dot get value and we will have a collection method and through which we can get the node binding and using passing up the key will get the node binding and if we write like node binding dot get row we will have the selected row and in this row we can get the attribute we just need to pass the attribute name and we will have the selected 
row attribute value and here I'm passing up the value in a page flow scope and here I'm executing the custom method app which is in the application module MPL file and I'm passing the the bind variable value as a country and I'm executing the query and I'm refreshing the panel box that's all so if we look at the if we look at the page definition file of the tree iteration file we have the two binding for the country and location and this is the method and action binding if you look at that we will have that bind variable value so in the java file if you look at carefully we are fetching up initially we are first getting the select row value and then we are setting up we are executing the method and we are passing the bind variable value and that's all and uh, if we look at from the user perspective here also we have here we have in panel box so when a query will execute i am refreshing the panel box and data will be refreshed here so let's look at on the screen how it looks when i run run this application okay i selected this it's fine there's no data if i select another country we that is refresh here and shown there denmark germany france so so best thing is we are not using any master detail here we are using we are just executing the view criteria we are passing up the value of the country to the location view criteria and we are refreshing it that's all and that's the way you can create i mean on the left hand side you have the tree on selecting of the tree you can refresh the another view object without have, having any view link or anything that's all for the today i will post this simple code in my blog that's all for now thanks for watching if you have any comments please let me know thank you